If you know anything about exoplanets, you will know that there are planets outside of our solar system that scientists and astronomers believe could be home to other life forms. This is because exoplanets such as Kepler 186f, Kepler 22b, and Kepler 62f are suspected to exist within the habitable zone of their host stars. The habitable zone refers to the area around a star where a planet can pool water because it is not too close or too far away from its host star. When trying to figure out if an exoplanet could host sustainable life forms, the habitable zone from its host star is just one important factor. The planet's atmosphere is also of crucial importance, and its components determine the temperature of the planet's surface area, how protected a planet is, and if life can thrive. For example, if a planet's atmosphere contains carbon dioxide without any other compounds, the planet is considered too hot to sustain life, known as a greenhouse effect. Scientists are intrigued by the possibility of other life forms existing in the universe besides Earth's biological entities. To have a better understanding of an exoplanet's atmosphere, NASA scientists have been developing a program called Pioneers. It is meant to uncover several of the universe's secrets, including expanding NASA's capabilities of understanding the atmospheres of planets outside of our solar system. The Pioneers program is not only meant to decode the atmospheric mysteries of distant worlds in our galaxy, it would also observe the planet's host stars at the same time as their exoplanets. The goal is to determine the measurements of exoplanetary atmospheres which require zeroing in on both the planets and their host stars. The Pioneers' ultimate goal is to understand new, intriguing worlds. Some exoplanets even resemble Earth with their size and axial tilt so there is a possibility of a world just like our own existing outside of our solar system. This would answer the age-old question of if we are truly alone in the universe and would have a monumental effect on how we understand the concept of life, science, and the uncertainties of the future. So how does the Pioneers program plan on researching its goals? In a nutshell, the program will use satellites to study the universe. Scientists working for NASA have recently given the go-ahead to move tiny satellites, known as small sats, to the next stage of development. These satellites are a cost-effective way to give NASA scientists more access to space. The Pioneers program have developed three different small sats and one balloon mission, all meant to have a specific role in discovering the universe's secrets. They are called Pandora, Aspera, Starburst, and Puyo. Aspera is meant to study galaxy evolution, Starburst is meant to detect high-energy gamma rays from merging neutron stars, and Puyo is a balloon mission that will launch from Antarctica that will detect signals from ultra-high-energy neutrinos. The small set that we're the most interested in discussing today is Pandora, cleverly named after the mysterious Pandora's box from Greek mythology. It has been developed by NASA to specifically study over 30 exoplanets and 20 stars. Pandora will collect data relating to the exoplanets and host stars over long periods. Spacecrafts are unable to reach these faraway planets, many of which are 500 or 600 light years away from Earth. Furthermore, most telescopes are unable to determine accurate information about an exoplanet's atmosphere. To understand exoplanets, small satellites are undoubtedly the best avenue to go down. As we've mentioned, the main purpose of the Pandora mission is to acquire accurate measurements of the atmospheres of these planets. Specifically, Pandora will be able to observe visible light and infrared or red light and understand how changes in light output from the star would determine the planet's atmospheric measurements. This hopeful and determined small sat will also be able to compare the size of an exoplanet's shadow at different wavelengths or color of light. Pandora's constant presence is required to obtain sufficient atmospheric data. Pandora will be able to do this by lurking around a host star and its exoplanets for 10 years. Its job is to essentially survey the planets. It is equipped with the proper technology and tools to do so and contains an 18-inch mirror that helps it observe what happens when the planet moves in front of or transits the host star. This technique is known as transmission spectroscopy. So how exactly do scientists hope to understand more about atmospheric content by studying light, shadows, and measurements? The goal is to understand the compounds within the atmosphere by identifying wavelengths where the exoplanets cast a larger shadow. And with this information, understand what atoms and molecules are present. Being able to see both infrared and visible light, Mission Pandora will also be able to discern what characteristics belong to an exoplanet, 
and what characteristics belong to its host star. You can also think of Pandora's mission as disentangling the host star from the exoplanet, as it is crucial to understand the exoplanet's atmosphere when studying if a planet is habitable, so it's important to not confuse the host star with the exoplanet. The host star can affect atmospheric measurements with their own atmospheres and their changing surface features, such as spots. Pandora gives scientists a clear perspective by separating exoplanetary signals from stellar signals, also known as signals from stars. This is a groundbreaking development by NASA and brings them one step closer to determining if planets outside of our solar system can sustain life forms. Mission Pandora is a key component for NASA's current goals relating to exoplanetary studies. Alyssa Quintana notes that exoplanetary science is moving from an era of planetary discovery to an era of atmospheric characterization. This is largely thanks to the revolutionary small sat Pandora. Scientists know that exoplanets are out there and now the goal is to probe alien worlds. Now that we understand the Pioneers program, specifically the huge potential that comes with the Pandora mission, we must ask ourselves why atmospheric content is so crucial. We've touched on this a little bit, but to elaborate, a planet's atmosphere must have protective and life-supporting qualities to support sustainability. For example, Earth's atmosphere contains the perfect amount of gases, so nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and oxygen, to shield us from the sun and meteorites, allow organisms and human beings to roam the Earth, and provide us with drinkable water and breathable air. Our atmosphere is also the reason we have different climates throughout the globe and four seasons every year. Despite our fascination with other living things and our hope that they exist, habitability depends on a planet's atmosphere. For example, small planets do not have enough gravity to hold an atmosphere. On the opposite side of the spectrum, planets like Venus have an atmosphere that is far too thick and full of greenhouse gases to allow life to survive on its surface. Furthermore, there are planets like Jupiter, which has an atmosphere made up of mostly hydrogen gas and some helium gas, making it quite similar to the Sun in some ways. Jupiter's atmosphere means it has no firm surface to touch down on and is infamously known as a gas giant. It is important to understand the planets in our solar system so we can reflect upon the knowledge when studying exoplanets. As human beings, we sometimes dream of other life forms existing, as it can be frightening to think of Earth's inhabitants as being alone in the universe. NASA scientists and experts are even more invested in this knowledge than the average person. Pioneers program and groundbreaking Pandora mission are some of the most recent methods in the works that will be able to probe other planets, learn from their atmospheres, and answer any questions about if there is life beyond Earth. A lot of time and research goes into these videos every week. If you enjoy watching, why not hit that subscribe button or just check out some of my other videos? Thanks for watching.